quarter to Pons. Outside to Keon Johnson, one of the top recruits, and a very, very talented young group of players around the SEC. And Missouri, they might hold things up, but now they really want to get out and run. Santiago Viscovi, there was some concern about him. Defense time and time again. Both teams want to get out and run and try and get some easy shots, easy points, as Missouri did on that first possession. That really is going to be an interesting matchup because Eve Pons only comes in at six foot six, and John Fulkerson, who is the longest of the starters at six foot nine, all because in the two losses Tennessee's had this year, both of them, Pons has got into early foul trouble. Really look, when you watch these teams, you're going to see a lot of this right here pick and roll. A couple of baskets. He only had two points in their last game against South Carolina. That was an 11-point win. Down inside. That's been a great find by Missouri for an easy two. Off the turnover, Missouri looking to push it. Vincent thought about it. 40 from the floor. Again, Tennessee with three points from six. Oh, dangerous pass. Pinson will track that down. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. Well, if he continues to catch it that deep, he's going to have yeah. another big game against Tennessee. Four and two so far in conference. Tennessee was picked to win the SEC. Fulkerson yes. loses the wow. handle. Boy, Missouri's defense has fish been tenacious. Pinson turning on the J. They got Tennessee. <laughs> it's something that you came up with, Joe, and it's I think it's very clever. What does it mean to get Tennessee? Well, it's basically you just get shut fouls now on both Missouri and Tennessee. Mark Smith wearing number 13 in black on the floor right now. Pinson feeling it at times. They've only taken seven shots as compared to 16 for Missouri. Not a good film. Well, <laughs> every game from now on. That off the front of the iron and the rebound taken by Mark Smith. Yes, there are three Smiths on the talk about how their offense is married to their defense. That means when they can get out and get some hands on the ball and do some things like this right here, it helps them. So Dillman doubled, if not almost triple team. Out to Pinson. Already with a dozen. Smith looking three quarter, half court, one, two, two. And then it'll, it'll shift back into a man-to-man. A -man. That's a bad one. Down comes right into the hands of James. And he misses that. Viscovi sets his feet. Good rotation defense. Now for Tennessee and right back in it after trailing by 11 at the last time out. Again, front 10 into the post. This should give him good. Play attack in the rim. It's number 12, Victor Bailey Jr., the 6'4 redshirt junior. Oh. Austin, Texas. A little bit better. Got a little juice going. Superb run by Tennessee, but doesn't Missouri have to try to get the ball to Tillman? He's only taken two shots so far in the game. Looking for some space down inside. Tennessee do a good job of denying. Pinson dribbles, step back, and... Oh, and again, like I said earlier, Pinson right now is the one who's really getting off. Of it. Unstoppable. Against Florida, they, they, had, they had difficulty with the high ball screen. And Missouri obviously watched that film and is really explosive. If you're wondering and you hear it, there is some crowd here at Thompson Bowling. It's about 18%. They hang around and they hang around and then they get you at the end. Missouri's got to come out strong to start the second half. Just having a hard time containing this young fellow. But east-west, that means side to side instead of it's downhill, more south. Starts doing that, Paul, and he's going to the next level. Keon Johnson. And a reminder to Tennessee fans, Jaden Springer, outstanding freshman who scored 13 in the first meeting back at the end of just run up and down. But you don't want to forget while you're playing with pace, especially if you got an active, good big guy like Tillman, that you lose sight of him. Hahn sets his feet, that off the front of the iron, rebound taken easily by Pinson. That was a good look, good offensive set that time by Tennessee. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. And rejected by Pons, <laughs> one of the best shot blockers in the country, considering he's only six foot six. Hustle by Tennessee, and now Missouri has numbers if they want it. Pinson picked up by Pons, trying to get in. And it was a double digit lead for Tennessee, and they were off to the race. Pinson loses his bounce. These, these long drives from the perimeter to get right to the lane 
are really aggravating them. Gaines, air ball there, balls on the floor. Pinson comes up with it. Drew Smith in the game now with 15, Pinson with 21. Drew yeah. Smith again with a ball. He covers we talked about it against Vanderbilt. You you played with Dennis Rod. I yeah. mean, I'm not comparing anything but their ability to defend all five. Great, great player. But when he came out of college, he was just come enjoy what should be a really compelling college basketball game. But Tennessee has got some work to do. So the folks in Missouri probably feeling pretty good right now. But I didn't think our team was prepared to play. They didn't play hard enough, and they didn't compete. He was very, very upset with his volunteers. Joe Lenardi's bracketology, ten, Alabama is ranked number 18, but Joe has them as a number two seed, and they won again today. And Joe is looking for Kentucky as well. Oh, it's, it's uncharacteristic of Tennessee to be giving up those point-blank shots, but you better make them while you can. Kale, and yeah, great play. Kobe, Shaq, and... This is kind of just token pressure. Now you'll see it kind of, they match up. They just want to confuse you, get the shot clock down, and take you out of your rhythm offensively. Tennessee has done a good job on Pinson, who had 19 of his 23 points at the halftime break. Talking about maybe being a hand model, Paul, if you know anybody out there in California that could... I, I do, as a matter of fact. I'll, I'll send him right your way, little rocker. Oh, Pinson. Smith was 17, leading the way. Yeah, well, let's yeah, turn our focus to Tennessee here, Joe. Tennessee loses two in a row. So he, he hasn't been absolutely yeah. perfect, but pretty good. This one Boy, under a minute. Can, he can really pass it. Oh, man, he had 16 and 12 wow. today in Auburn's win. Had 11 assists in the 